So you want to make a super simple motion graphic subscribe button. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back in Blender 2.9 EV once again taking a look at what I just said a few seconds ago. We're going to go ahead and uh, hit delete on our default cube, I'm sorry, on uh, our lamp. And with our camera, we're going to hit Alt-G to clear the location and Alt-R to clear the rotation. RX-90 on my numpad and left-click to confirm that movement. GY to move our camera backwards. Now, uh, if we hit uh, Shift-A, we're going to add in a, a mesh plane. Minimize button to pan around my scene here. And RX-90 once again to rotate that 90 degrees on the X-axis. Hit left-click to confirm that uh, I'm going to hit SZ to scale that down on the Z axis. Super simple and easy subscribe button right there. Check, check that out. That's awesome. Pretty sweet. Uh, <laughs> just really, really easy rectangle there. Hit SX to scale that on the X axis a little bit. Maybe SZ to scale it up a little bit more. And I kind of want to round these corners here, uh, which we can do pretty easily in a couple of different ways. Uh, we can go ahead and go to the modifiers tab and add in a modifier subdivision surface. Now you see that's a little bit too much. We'll go ahead and uh, smooth that out a little bit by turning the viewport render up by th to three or eh, maybe four, maybe even five. We can probably do five. It's fine. Uh, doesn't have to be super high quality. We'll just do five. Looks fine. Uh, then hit tab to go into edit mode. And we're going to go ahead and go to loop cut and add in a couple loop cuts here. So we'll just click once in the middle there, maybe once on the side, once on the side. We can do this by hand. Uh, we can do this not by hand by opening up the uh, right hand side uh, tab here and going to tool and then changing the number of cuts. So if I undo those two, those three, sorry, and then change the number of cuts to something to an odd number, it can't be an even number, to an odd number like seven. Uh, not enough. Maybe we'll do 13. Like that. Uh, and we'll do a couple in the other direction too. So let's go ahead and just do, I like to do it by hand, but you can do it like uh, loop, you can do the number of loop cuts like that too, if you want to, but I like doing it by hand. So we'll just go ahead and pop in a couple of cuts there, a couple of cuts there, maybe some on the side right there as well. And maybe, maybe just a few on the ends just to get it rounded like that. I think it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Uh, now we don't need all of these vertices. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit M uh, sorry, sorry, hit M. So go back to select mode right there. Hit B to box select, not M. Make sure nothing is selected. Uh, double tap A until it is all clear like that. Hit B to box select. We'll grab all of these vertices except for these uh, last two rows here. And then I'm going to hit X. And then we're going to hit dissolve vertices. Now you can see all these vertices are gone. Uh, which is which is kind of a problem and not a problem at the same time because usually when you model things you want to have vertices that don't look weird like this because these don't go into anything. Um, but for this specific instance, it should be fine because we're not going to be modeling this at all. We're just going to leave it the way it is. So it's totally fine in this specific situation. We'll go ahead and hit Shift A. Uh, don't do that for other things. It's just this situation since we're not modeling anything, since we're not moving the vertices around like this, um, we won't have any errors. But yeah. Moving forward, hit Shift A to add, to add in a text object. Hit RX 90 to rotate that 90 degrees on an X axis. Uh, we're going to hit uh, GY to very slightly move that up out of the plane so it's not all glitchy like that. Uh, there we go. You can hit 3 on your numpad to go into the front facing view. And now our plane is sitting on this blue line right here. So if we zoom in as far as we can, hit GY, move that back as close as we can get it to the blue line. Uh, something about like that. Looks pretty good. Now you don't want to get too close because it still will glitch out like that. You can see if I move in the right way, it will glitch. Oh, I can't get it to do it. Whatever. But just move it a little. Just move it about maybe if you zoom in as far as you can go, maybe about half of this line right here, half of this cube, half of the cube right there. So that's fine. That's good like that. Go to the text tool here. Go to character spacing. Uh, sorry, go to horizontal, and then we'll change it to center. And then we'll select the font by going up here to font and then hitting this little folder icon. I'm using a font called Galleon, Galleon or something like that. I'm going to go, going to go ahead and scroll on down here to the Y offset and scrunch that down. Hit S to scale the text down. Now we'll get a little bit of scaly going on. Uh, depending on your font, it's going to be a bit different for the Y axis here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on negative 0.26, negative 0.26, I think so. Uh, yeah, sure. Hit tab to go into edit mode and change what this says. Of course, we're going to change this to subscribe, subscribe. 
Uh, let's hit S to scale that down a little bit more. And I'm going to put the Y offset back up now that we scaled it down to maybe 0.25. Let's just do 0.25. Yeah. See, now once you scale it down, it's a little bit different. There we go. Looks good. I like it. Let's scale it up a little bit. Yeah, sure. All right. Cool. Now, for the materials, I'm going to go ahead and go to the uh, rendered viewport shading up here, the, the furthest most right corner uh, circle. Turn off my overlay so I can't see the word subscribe or whatever. I'm going to go to the material tab down here, select the material that we currently have selected there, the only one we have. And now on the uh, on the back plane, on the plane, we're also going to put that same material. Now we're going to select our text by going back up here and selecting that little text icon up here. Uh, then hit this little three icon to add a new material. This will be called um, uh, text, right? And then our plane will be called uh, button. There we go. Change the uh, surface to emission here. And then change the color to a nice red color. Now you could go and eye drop YouTube's red color, um, which is not exactly like a typical red color. But I'm going to go ahead and make my own because I just like, like doing that. We're going to do something like that, which the hex for this color is FF3D3A. There you go. And for the text, I'm going to do the same thing. Change the surface to emission. And we're going to make this a solid white color. Make sure that's all the way white, which is good. So now we have this little subscribe button here, but it doesn't do anything. It just kind of sits there and looks adorable. We go ahead and go into our camera's view. Turn my overlays back on by hitting, hitting zero to go in the camera's view, by the way. Hold down shift and select the, the text, then select the plane. Hit Control P to parent these objects together. Hit Object, um, and then we're gonna go ahead. And now, if we select the plane, we can rotate this. The text will rotate with it, which is nice. So, a lot of people ask me ask me about motion graphics. So I figured we'll do this today. It's really late at night, by the way. Um, <laughs> we go ahead and uh, drag open my timeline here and change my start frame to zero because I like doing that. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and hit G Z to move this down off of the camera. Hit I to hit uh, to insert a location keyframe. Then we're gonna go to about frame. Oh, we're gonna go to the scene tab here actually. Sorry, uh, and then change our frame rate to 60 because I think that looks that looks better. All right, there we go. Uh, to frame 40, man, maybe maybe frame 30. Well, hit G Y G Z. Sorry to move this upwards into the frame. Um, about right there, and we're hit I location. And then on, we'll hit, we'll select this last keyframe, then hit Shift D to duplicate it to about frame 70. And then on frame 30 again, we'll go ahead and move this down. So G Z and move it down like that. Hit I location. Now when we play this, it slowly comes up into the frame, which is nice. And then on frame 160 or 170 rather, I want to insert a location frame. Hit G Y G Z. Dang it, <laughs> and move it very very slightly up. I location now we play it it kind of has a little bit more of a smoothing effect which is nice and then on 190 I want to slam it down back into the uh, unknown so I location and then on frame 200 we'll move it all the way out of the shot there we go I location perfect so now we have something that looks like this goes up comes down and then I want to change our in frame to 210 and I also want to select our camera uh, go to viewport display, pass the part out, and turn the opacity all the way up. There we go. Turn my overlays back off. That's our little subscribe button there. I can go to viewport denoise and turn that off for a second. That looks better. All right, that's it right there. It's pretty cute. I like it a lot. You can do some rotation as well. Uh, so when it uh, when it's initially down, I want it to kind of maybe be rotated like this. I rotation, and then on frame 30. I kind of want to do something like this, right? And I'm going to turn my automatic keyframing on by hitting this little button right here. So I don't have to keep hitting I to insert rotation keyframes. Then on frame maybe 50, I'll do something like that. Uh, rotate it on the Y axis as well. Something like this when it first comes up. Just double tap R. Give it a cool little, cool little thing like that maybe. But yeah, so you see how this is a little bit of a process. Uh, we're just kind of just getting it, you know, as perfect as I want to get it. But you can see how you guys some really pretty cool uh, animation with this uh, with this little subscribe button here. So I hope you boys and girls enjoyed today's tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Um, but until then, bye bye.